Well, it's time. And it's time we quit seeing through a glass darkly. Some light has been sent onto planet Earth if anybody ever wants to pay attention. So let the alarm sound and let 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 it all happen, beloved. And what's gonna happen is a miracle if if we will be patient and if we will look to the prophetic word of God. And uh, it is foretold that Eden shall be in front of us. So let's start believing that and let's take action for that. Because if we don't take any action for our faith, our faith is dead. Then that makes us the walking dead. Let's, let's all repent of that. I've been there myself. But you know, this is a very special time. This is a time when Christ's his fingers were on earth. And from each finger, there was a, a, a great fire burning from each. And it blazed. And he had the world in his hand. And where his hand was, there was light. Praise God. I'm going to turn this down just a hair. I'd rather turn it way up. Way up. Remember uh, Jerome the giraffe? Look way, way up. The uh, what was that called? The the uh, something giant. The yeah, back in the days of Captain Kangaroo. None of the young youngsters out there would remember Captain Kangaroo and Mr. Uh, Green Jeans now. But I'm gonna ring the bell just for them. And Bozo, we lost Bozo. And Oopsie, Bozo was Oopsie. My God. What terrible things have happened. But you know, life is good. I'm being a little I'm a little facetious. But know this, beloved. This is Easter 2021. Elijah, Shiloh, Daniel, the latter day one, has been revealed. So be thankful that God is faithful to his purposes and his appointments. He said the vision of God of his glory that will cover the earth as waters cover the seas, as grass cover the lands, lilies covering the ponds, and as sands covering even the most desolate of, de of deserts. His vision of his glory would come at the end, and it would come from one who is transgressed by wine. I've had about three, four drinks tonight. Uh, seven, day, seven, seven days, seven drinks every three days. I'm a controlled alcoholic. But nonetheless, that is what I am. But praise the Lord that he knew from the beginning that my name would be Daniel in the latter days, Daniel 12, 13, and that I would cause the shattering of the power of the holy people, meaning the canons of all Judaism, Islam, and um, Christianity would be broken asunder if they want to be obedient to the Spirit of God because all things should be restored. Uh, because there has been errors in history and the Lord has shown me what is what, but I can't get nobody to pay attention. So the Lord wants to come down with his own hand upon the world and speed things up because unless he does so, this world would be in trouble. So know this, that Easter tells us that life is not to be interpreted. Uh, it, it's to be interpreted not simply in terms of things, but in terms of ideas. And that starts with not being ignorant because ignorance is the name of the devil who has been removed. Listen to my other videos. I'm not gonna go into that right now. But um, what is God? God is knowledge. So devil bad, God good. Uh, devil stupid, ignorant, uh, spreading that. Everybody gotta be ignorant, stay that way. God good, he say have knowledge, okay? At the right time, when it's allowed, when it's unveiled. And here it goes, people. Uh, God's people have always been destroyed by lack of knowledge, Habakkuk. And I am the one of Habakkuk too, the vision of love that will cause the, the, the Lord's glory to be, cover this world. And Easter spells out beauty and the rare beauty of new life. Uh, and it's meant to be a symbol of hope, renewal, and new life. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. 
people need to come together with their families to celebrate always the unending jubilee about uh, the journey of Christ's life. So stay at this channel and linger a while. Kick your your uh, shoes off. <laughs> Jesus will come and, and wash your feet, beloved. And know that Easter is the only time of the year when it's safe to put all your eggs in one basket. And the Easter egg symbolizes our ability to break out of the hardened protective shell that we've all surrounded ourselves with. And, you know, the Lord just wants to come and do this to us, invigorate our heart, just zap it back to life and let everything you do be done in love. But let the love be um, tempered with knowledge study to show yourself approved i know some very very loving people and i'm going to be doing i know who the revelation of the woman of uh, revelation 12 it's going to be exciting i know her identity and i i know just as i know the identity of um, the one that uh second thessalonians said would die by a sword and be resurrected become the Antichrist, Revelation 13, 13. Who is he? He's, he's a sword swallower, a freak show. <laughs> Morg, his name is Death. I, I couldn't have named him a better name in order to mock that kind of noise. Oh my God, he, he, saw, he didn't see me coming. I am Elijah. But know this, at Easter, uh, the stone was rolled away from the door. And by the way, Elijah is Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12. Same guy. And the same guy is the latter-day Daniel, Daniel 12, 13, the writer of the everlasting gospel. And uh, praise the Lord. Know that the stone was, was rolled away from the door, not to permit Christ to come out, but to enable everybody of love to go in. And it's the time to rejoice and be thankful for the gift of life, love and joy, and have blessed days. It's the only time we can... Uh, turn around and, and, and look for renewal in and, and every step that we take and know that there would never be a Christmas if there was no Easter and beloved he is risen and it's a very special time so blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed for um, these are newness of days and know this by a very special prophet of the Lord, A.W. Tozer. And I've got some of his writings all throughout my materials because this man was a modern-day prophet, beloved. And if you will uh, Google this guy's name, if you'll quit being spiritually lethargic, I'm turning you on right now to one of the greatest minds of love that has ever been. And A period, W, period, Tozer, T-O-Z-E-R, uh, sounds German, but he said this, if a man had his way, the plan of redemption would be an endless and bloody conflict. In reality, salvation was brought not by Jesus first, but by his nail-pierced hands, not by muscle, but by love. And what you got to insert right there is that he was slain before the foundation of the earth, says the word of God. And Tozer says, and he, uh, his salvation was brought not by vengeance, but forgiveness, not by force, but by sacrifice. Jesus Christ, our Lord, surrendered in order that he might win. He destroyed his enemies by dying for them and conquered death by allowing death to conquer him. My God, that is the restoration partially of uh, Matthew 17, 11. And people that mock that spit at Christ. Dolly Parton, I love Dolly. Dolly says, I still believe in Santa, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, and true love. Don't even try to tell me any different. <laughs> and you know, I got to stand with her. Because it does not matter what we believe. And people won't believe that, but it's true. Uh, but the bottom line is that's provable by the word of God. In this day, I am the messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah. And uh, I'm the weeping prophet uh, messenger Daniel. 
And uh, what the Lord says, it doesn't matter what I say, it's what he says. He invite, he's inviting ignorance now that the kingdom age covenant has been given unto all mankind, as it is clearly written correctly for Israel and all mankind. It was switched, uh, it, it was added to, it was twisted, uh, nothing but desolate heritage, uh, Isaiah 49, 8. But the bottom line, he invites now a total ignorance about him because people love ignorance. <laughs> they don't have to press in to know anything, just to have a loving heart filled with love, be born again by love, be as a little child. And he says this, he says, and once the, the revelation of Daniel, the messenger of Jeremiah, Jeremiah's messenger and God's messenger that prepares his way by the covenant message of uh, Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 that tears down all the kingdoms of man uh, because it's the kingdom of God coming. That's why. And the bottom line is that uh, none shall need to know anything and be taught about me anymore, says the Lord God. So you know what? Easter says that you can put truth in a grave, but it will not stay there. I can be ignored, but it will not stay there. So happy Easter. And the great gift of Easter is hope. And here is hope, beloved. These are the days of the trial of all flesh. Revelation 3 manifested. And God is now sending forth his word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to listen to his message of his unconditional love for every single one of you listening to my voice. And if this is ignored, earth shall be destroyed. If the hearts of the fathers don't turn to the children, children to the fathers, this earth is toast. It is the total oblivion that Jesus foretold in Matthew 24, 22. It is the total annihilation Zephaniah 1, 1 foretold. It is the total uh, emancipation of life because death would only follow all of Isaiah 24. Earth left in four or five pieces, dead in space after Wormwood knocks the crap out of her. Revelation book, read it. And uh, it's further, Deuteronomy, uh, um, Deuteronomy 18, 18, Moses said, one like him would come forth. I am the leader and of the great exodus of the wheat out of the, uh, the midst of Babylon the, to leave the terrors behind. All the good, loving, spiritual, open-minded, open-hearted people that want revelation knowledge as God has promised shall follow me and leave behind all the uh, anal, retentive, religious, closed-minded, closed-hearted, judgmental, critical, uh, uh, accusing, looking under for a, uh, demons under every rock, suspicious, and uh, they are they are most uh, <laughs> superstitious. Leave all their superstitions behind. Leave them behind with Satan. Let them take that sucker to bed. Because the truth is, Satan has been removed according to the word of God. And uh, it is time of Daniel. The war is over in heaven. And the, the Satan has been removed because God is not a liar. And he says in Jeremiah 31, and he has given that covenant now in these latter days. He says to one and all, he says, uh, I will forgive your iniquity and I will never remember it. It's like every single finger of his is pointing down a, a spotlight on that truth right now. If you will receive it, receive it in Jesus' mighty name, in the name of love, 1 John 4, 7. And this everlasting gospel shall go again to all people, all nations, all tribes, the word of John the Beloved, because no one believes that those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. No. If you're a this or that, you don't know God. You're a different religion. You don't know God. You don't, you're not... Yep, yep, nope, yep, nope, nope. God wants to end every argument. And why? Because he says, And now no one shall ever need to be taught about me anymore, saith the Lord God. Welcome to the faith of John Lennon. Imagine that, people. So it's time to, to have a change of understanding. It's time to change. It's time to beat the sword of the Spirit, the distortional sword of the spirit where we only saw through a glass darkly we could see some light but it was distorted and so was it meant to be veiled 
until the end. All the creation has been groaning for who is the revelation of the sons and daughters of God. Thus saith God, Isaiah 45, of things concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hand, command ye me. I did. And next thing I knew, God was supplying a lamp, uh, electricity for about seven minutes that was never plugged in by his finger. Just going, bzz, turn on, turn on for Daniel, bzz, turn on for Trudy. And he did the same thing for Trudy, and he did the same thing for me. And he lit that lamp, and it was never anywhere close to... Uh, but next thing I know, I started having open-eyed visions, people. He breathed on me. I had a prophet when I was about uh, 30 years ago tell me, this is you. In uh, Isaiah 49, you're the arrow of the white horseman of the apocalypse who carries a longbow just for you. That's you, Daniel. And I've known that all my life. And then I wrote 20 years writing, writing the pen mightier than the sword. Don't you want to? You don't believe it because everyone just only wants to ignore. That's all they want to do. I tried in vain to give away the very best of everything that somebody might be listening to in vain for 20 years. No, I couldn't give it away. No one had boots deep enough for my kind of shit. And it pissed me off. It really did and still does. But, you know, I forgive them. They know not what they do. They're more to be pitied than censored, beloved. But the truth is truth. And uh, no one, Jesus said, would there be any uh, faith on earth before he comes? There is absolutely no truth in this earth. No one has any faith, not in prof prophecy, because none of it has been understood. Beloved, the, here comes the sign bzzz, of uh, Jonas. Just as uh, Nineveh was spared in Jonah 3, so too does God now say, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast-rising great tribulation with my finger of love. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit of love shall this world be healed if it will heed the voice of the messenger of my love, who is Daniel, who is Shiloh, who is the Habakkuk to alcoholic. Hello? Well, I never did get to uh, the reading part of my uh, um, Easter program. So, go Gospel of the Dove is the next one, the everlasting gospel. And you know what? I am the writer of the everlasting gospel. People are just ignoring the truth. Because you know what? Uh, the canons are open. And that was predicted as being all right. Because it's the shattering of the power of the holy people. Daniel 12, 7. Why? Because I'm restoring all spiritual truth. Why? Because I've given the kingdom age covenant to Israel and all mankind. Why? Because that was the people that was correctly addressed to. Why? Because God has never been a respecter of any people. Why? Because he loves all people equally. Why? Because he sees us not as we are. Why? Because he sees us as we will be. Why? Because as soon as we're dead, we are sinless as babies. Why? Because we are angels. Why? Because we are last. Why? Because he created us last. Why? Because the last is first, the first is last. Why? What does that mean? It means that the glory of the latter house is greater than that of the former. Why? Because that is the way it is in the kingdom of God. Jesus said so many times. Why? Because it was a key to helping people understand all the intricacies of prophecy. Why? Because prophecy has never been told to say that's what's going to happen. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I can say that in full unity of love because if all three are there and they're all saying the same thing there in the mouth of two or three witnesses is the truth. The truth is prophecy has only been given to change the future, to give people the opportunity to do so. But when everybody wants to be so blind and they don't want to become the very change that they want to see in this world, when they cleave unto Satan like it's their tampon or like it's their dirty pillow that they're accustomed to for wicked night sleeps, Oh, I don't want to get disgusting, and I apologize, therefore, if I am. 
But you know what? This is Easter time, and it's time for change, and it's time for hope. And the hope is that people will beat their sword of the Spirit, which is dull butter knife, into the sickle of His love, because the sickle of His love now comes. And the Lord God Almighty says in this hour of His word being open again, Daniel 12, 9, it was only closed until the time of the end, and His word has come to bring His word of patience. Revelation 13, because the trial of all flesh is a upon us to, to, to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to enter into our oblivion that is just ahead if people will not turn around. But good news is it's all erasable, exactly as Nineveh was not destroyed in Jonah 3. And how is that going to happen, Mr. Uh, Daniel, Elijah, Mr. Shiloh? Well, it's going to happen because the hearts of the fathers are going to turn to the children, and the hearts of the children are going to turn to the fathers. Why? Because everybody has a love deficit that is empty and has been for 2,000 years, because nobody has understood the Word of God. And once you understand the word of God and the way it's been cloaked and the way it's been veiled and the way that it's been hidden, but praise the God that in these days of the mystery of God being over, Revelation 10, 7, it is finally over. Why? Because the seven trumpets sounded first, because the first is last, the last is first. And what happens then, Mr. Daniel? Well, the wise will be able to shine as the stars that we were so we're fearfully and wonderfully made as in the image of God, because we are angels in the flesh, and God came to us in uh, as Emmanuel, God in the flesh, because we were a planet of angels in the flesh. And he always, the everlasting go covenant is this, people. When he died, one hand went to everlasting future and the other hand went to everlasting past all at the same time. And as he hung there and his blood was the atonement over all mankind, dying for one and all, guess what happened? Guess. Do you got a guess? What happened? We were saved. <laughs> We were saved, every single one of us who keeps our love light on for those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. That is his name. Oh, beloved, the the ignorance of this world is so stupid. I don't even want to talk about uh, the Islamic praises of uh, Allah. God's name is whatever you want it to be. He is love. And you, it's time to, for all the pettiness to, to, to go. And for that reason, even the name Allah, a title, not even a name, never has been. Now it is sanctified by our Prince of Peace to become a new legitimate name. So the one world might glorify the same Savior, whether you call him Jehovah or Adonai or Elohim or Allah. There's millions of names. His name is love. End of the story. Let's stop all the arguments. Let's move ahead. Satan has been removed. Why? Because he cannot accuse the brethren to God anymore. Why? Because if God uh, remembers our sin, he would be a liar. Exactly as it says in Jeremiah 31, uh, verse 33. So happy Easter to you, beloved. Check out the next... Uh, Oh, at the climax. I, uh, my materials are full of climaxes. But the problem is, people don't want spiritual climaxes, and I'm being ignored like hell. But you know what? I ain't going away. It's only making me pissed off. <laughs>